North America wasn't always one. During the age of the dinosaurs, it was split in two by a large inland sea. On the eastern side, known as Appalachia, a tyrant calls this place home. Today it includes the states of Alabama and Georgia. Appalachiosaurus. Its name means Appalachia lizard. Its remains were originally unearthed in 1982 during a dig in Alabama. Later finds were also uncovered in Georgia and the Carolinas. Dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes come to the lake to drink. But much like the waters of the Serengeti today, drinking with caution is advised. This herd of hadrosaurs has come a long way. They migrate constantly in search of food. It is a hot day. They are in need of water. The first hadrosaurs get close to the water's edge. They are weary. But when the brave first few begin to drink, the rest feel settled. But, revealing itself from out of sight, bursts Appalachiosaurus. Appalachiosaurus was a distant relative to its bigger cousin, Tyrannosaurus rex. It was much closer related to the likes of Albertosaurus and Gorgosaurus. Much like its relatives, the forelimbs of these theropods were short and couldn't even reach their heads. It is thought they evolved this way as they slowly lost the need for large arms to hold onto and grapple prey. And instead, they used their large teeth and devastating bites to overpower them. The unsuspecting hadrosaurs begin to panic and flee. A stampede ensues. Amongst the panic, a young hadrosaur is caught by the older Appalachiosaurus. The powerful bite of this creature ensures that this hadrosaur cannot escape. Scientists are in doubt whether or not these larger theropods had feathers. If we look at its close cousin Albertosaurus, fossil evidence suggests that they instead had scaly skin. The hard work isn't over for this Appalachiosaurus. Dinosuchus, a massive dinosaur-killing crocodile, emerges from the water and grasps onto the carcass, pulling it back towards the water. It turns into a tug-of-war. Both hungry predators pull the hadrosaur apart. Appalachiosaurus wasn't nearly as big as its relative T-Rex, but it wasn't tiny either. Unfortunately, the most complete fossil discovered was of a juvenile with a length of around 7 meters and a weight of around 600 kilograms. The adult would have probably been considerably larger. Living towards the end of the dinosaurs in their late Cretaceous period, Appalachiosaurus roamed around 77 million years ago. Appalachiosaurus was a top predator of the time, but even they weren't safe at the water's edge. Here, Dinosuchus is king. And that concludes this episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram for even more content.